Wow, Ayomide's work is very, very nice. We can see the way he used his colors. So he was able to follow the idea of repeating the colors on the other side. So I like the idea of his green and yellow. So he didn't make it like plants. And also he doesn't have the thick base and he used the light card. Awesome, awesome work, Ayomide. Awesome. Hi, my name is Okpayemi Richard Sendewebo. You are welcome to Blue Blooms Art World Channel. I film on arts and everything about it and it's centered around children. If you've been following me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm, I'm delighted to have you here again. And if you're, if you're new here, I'm delighted. I'm super excited to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe so that you can be among the first to see my new content. Okay. Mommies, daddies, wow, today is activity day. So we are creating today. Please get my lovely skin. Please hope they are sitting. It's time to learn. So we are creating something unique today. My lovelies, can you guess? Can you guess? All right, let's go. Yes. So we're making a guitar today. Can you see? We're making a guitar today. Come on and set sail on the deep sea. We are a set for treasure. Oh, what can it be? It's a guitar. All right, let's go. <laughs> Templates for the side of the guitar, guitar front template, guitar back template, strawboard and back template for the neck of the guitar to make it very thick, strawboard for the E for bracing the neck base and bridge to hold down the strings to the uh, base. Here you have adhesive, permanent markers, crayons. I love wax crayons, especially Master Arts Art and um, Crayola, Tiger toe strings for the guitar strings, scissors. Now it's time to design the guitar template front and back. Let's start with the front part. So now you think of suitable patterns for the theme you have chosen. So the theme we are working on here is Barbie. So remember, Barbie, she's a star, she glitters, she's beautiful, she's sassy. So we think of patterns that um, are, are, are similar to the um, symbols of Barbie. So that's why you see the stars and the rest. So after drawing, you outline with your marker. This is to give it a great, a great definition to make it all those patterns to come out to be defined. So now it's, it will make it look beautiful if you use different colors to outline, to outline the the drawings so you can see we have the blue we have the black we have the red awesome so now it's time to color let's color so remember it's barbie team so we are using a pink shades of pink so we have pink for the star and then we have now the blue is to contrast remember it's always good if you're using um, bright colors have the cool colors there to contrast to be like to push out the bright colors you're using so they have a way of calming it and also making it very obvious so you have the stars in um, dark pink we have purple just to calm it down remember purple purple is a um, cool color now the idea of using the orange is to come out of the usual barbie color so we are also trying to use a bright color to push out the shades of pink and purple we have used so we are using yellow to have glowing effect to make that star glow so you can see the three stars too that they are glowing so now we um use the pink to outline the barbie to make it um, look more beautiful now we use a very light pink for the background so that um, it's not we don't have all strong colors on our guitar so now we color make sure you color smoothly smoothly is very important now we color the neck part the white part we're having on the neck part around the string so we color it pink 
and now for the back of the guitar we use the same color the same shade of pink we used for the background of the top of the guitar now remember coloring smoothly is very important now for the spine the side of the guitar the side of the guitar we color the side of the guitar with the orange that we use for around the top of the guitar beautiful so now for the um neck of the guitar the other part of the neck of the guitar so now we don't want the white line showing so we color it black so you color it black to um that's what we're going to be using to cover the back of the neck of the guitar the one that is part of the top of the guitar so remember smooth coloring now we color the bridge now the bridge is what is used the part of the guitar below used to hold down the strings so now it's time for us to join the spine the, the side of the body to the guitar so we fold through the crease line remember crease lines from the last activity we had so you fold now when you fold it's time to it's time to glue it so you apply the glue on one side remember you can use ballpoint pen covers or blunt pencils to make your crease lines now allow us to dry a bit now we follow the form the flow of the guitar the top of the guitar you can see some, something like eight number eight so you follow the flow gently it sure it, it will be tricky but you do it gently so follow the flow of the shape of the front of the guitar and then gently you keep going and then when you've done that round you turn it over when done turn it over now fix parts shooting out definitely you have some parts shooting out showing white parts so fix those parts and glue properly so you use your hand to hold together glue properly you can even blow because it's here you glue you can even blow it to let it glue, get glued properly now apply your glue to join the end of the strip and leave to so when you have applied the glue remember let it dry dry a bit so leave it to dry a bit and then you glue together now it's time adjust the flaps to be on the same level and apply glue it's time to put the other part of the guitar that's the back of the guitar the back of the body so leave to dry a bit place the back of the guitar on it and press down gently gently so that you don't squash the side of the guitar so you press press down gently so that um no, now after you're done you can see we ha we have our guitar in the 3d form it's time for the neck of the guitar so now we have the thick card that's the straw board so if you don't have a straw board you can use a carton so now it's time for us to glue it to the print the, the neck printed along with the body of the guitar that's the one with the body of the guitar so apply your glue on one side and place on the back of the neck of the guitar definitely that is part of the body of the guitar so now you gently stick don't forget to bend the the fat end that's the white end of the thick part now it's time to fix the strings so now remember to punch the six o's in the neck on the neck of the uh, of the git of the guitar so now you use your tiger tail or any strings of your choice to take the measurement you're cutting six strings using the measurements that's one two three four five six good so now you take your measurement now you have the strings ready so you pass the strings to the o's you gently do that because your thick card definitely is covering a part of it so pass each string through each o that that's a string for a hole a string for a hole so you do that and then after passing all the strings turn it over and apply glue to hold it down so you apply the glue to hold down the strings so that by the time you're doing your turning over it's when the strings will pull off so you do that and also apply on the thick card so you apply on the thick card too so by the time you are gluing the back so you glue the other part of the neck to it you glue the other part of the neck to it 
and then now you glue press down gently press the sides press the string parts gently press gently so you make sure that the strings are glued together with the cards the strings are glued together with the cards so you apply glue to glue the other parts of the um, neck to the, the body of the guitar now our neck is still dangling yes so there is something we need to put to prevent our neck from dangling so that's the heel the heel is what is serves as a base for the neck of the guitar so apply glue to one end to form a triangular shape you can see from a triangular shape and then you glue you glue to the top of the body of the guitar and then part of it you glue to the neck back neck of the guitar so now that serves as the base of the foot of the neck of the guitar and then glue down properly allow to dry a bit and then you put more pressure to glue it down properly now that's done beautiful so remember put pressure I like to dry a bit and then you put pressure put pressure again now it's time to finish up with our strings so um pull the strings now remember the bridge the bridge is used to hold down the strings tightly so use the bridge to hold down the strings tightly so apply glue pull and pull the strings over that space the blank space you didn't color while designing the top of your guitar then hold down tightly hold the strings down tightly the glue is there already so when you hold it down the, the strings get stuck to that space now when you have done that make sure you set it correctly side by side now apply glue over the strings and then glue the bridge to it so put pressure cut now cut off excess strings you definitely have the strings very long so you cut off excess strings and that's awesome so you're allowed to dry a bit definitely you can see our strings are side by side uh, but you can't you can't play the guitar now because the bridge part is still wet so now while that is getting dried let's color the bridge let's color the eel with a marker or paint let's color the eel with a marker or paint so you can use but for me i use the permanent marker now you can use a paint if you have and you can even decide to color your heel before fixing it that makes it even lovelier so now you can see our guitar is ready we can pull our strings you can see me running thing my finger over the strings and then now it definitely will make sound because it has the sound um the all cut out so now we have another guitar made from um, rock theme so you can create your guitar with different things awesome awesome okay welcome back that session was awesome right beautiful so we learned how to make a guitar okay so you're going to make yours and send to the email in the description don't forget make yours and um, take a picture of yourself holding your guitar just like this and send a picture to the email in the description beautiful so don't forget tips you can use any string of your choice for the string of the guitar you can use a fishing line you can use a tiger tail like what I have here be free to color your guitar the way you want it choose a theme in fact, you can even go for Barbie, you can go for rock. You just think of what you want and make it so beautiful. You can even decide to add your name at the bottom. Beautiful. Don't forget to add this brace to make the neck of your guitar say firmly. I'm so eager to see your beautiful creations. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Nigeria Independence Day coming. Watch out for more activities.